Uh, how was I wrong about the Panthers losing? I mean, I knew that Cam Newton had a bit of a problem with turning over the ball, but Jameis Winston is supposed to be worse. What happened? I don't know. Anyway, happy Friday, everybody. It is Friday morning. It is awesome that we made it to the weekend. And even though I haven't spent a full week in this apartment, you know, it's it's, well, it's made through my first week in this apartment. And, you know, nothing happened. Hooray. Well, I mean, what am I going to do that's, you know, so incredibly horrible? I mean, my goodness. I mean, I haven't really I mean, I haven't done anything, so... Yeah, there you go. Um, so, there is a lot to get to today. Um, well, first and foremost, you know, yesterday's episode of Hot Ones. You know, we got the new hot sauce lineup, and they all look awesome for their historic 10th season with a very great opening guest to match and Shia LaBeouf. I mean... Keep in mind, whenever I sort of guess who's going to be on Hot Ones in the future, you know, there are a bunch of people that, like, I didn't expect them to get to, or, you know, I didn't think they'd ever get to at all, or even people that I completely forgot about. So, Shia LaBeouf is actually very appropriate for, you know, being the Season 10 opener. I mean, he just did have a really big hit with the Peanut Butter Falcon. I mean, I didn't see that movie because limited release. I hate it when that happens. But, you know, if I have an opportunity to see the Peanut Butter Falcon, I am watching it. Because that movie looks awesome. Oh, well, I mean, I've, I've raved about that movie several times. So, that, that should be no surprise I'm saying it's awesome for yet again. So, there's that. It's awesome. And it actually got me thinking. And keep in mind, I know I have done this once like, way back, like, I think before Hot Ones started season five, I think, so this is, like, yeah, like, before May of 2018, where I actually did a, uh, a list of people that I would personally like to see on Hot Ones, and a couple of them actually did get on there, you know, Alton Brown being one, I actually always wanted to see him on Hot Ones, and he was, and that was pretty good, um, so, with that said, I, how about I list another, you know, 10 individuals who, um, who, uh, I would like to see on Hot Ones in the future. I mean, I mean, I can't say Shia LaBeouf, obviously, because, you know, he's going to be the next guest in a week from now. So, can't really, can't really say that. But, you know, there's plenty of other people I can say. One personal one personal um, uh, guest that would come to mind, and keep in mind to the good people at First We Feast and Hot Ones and Chris Schoenberger and Sean Evans and you guys, on the off chance you're watching this, or if you think that, you know, if you are watching this, I mean, well, first of all, thank you if you're watching this, but also because, you know, just giving you some ideas. I mean, never do I expect any of these choices to actually make it. I'm just saying the the celebrities that I would, you know, like to see. And, you know, I know I'm not the only one because, you know, we live in the day and age of the internet, so it's bound that lots of other people want these uh, guests as well. Um, one particular guest I wouldn't mind you trying to get, and hear me out with this one. Get famous competitive eater Randy Santel. If you guys don't know, he's, he actually has a, a YouTube channel. He goes by Atlas. And he does, you know, food challenges. He actually has done food challenges as of right now in all 50 states. As well as, like, 30 plus countries. And actually, the only, the only continents he hasn't been to are Africa and Antarctica for food challenges. So, he's... Actually, I don't think he's been in South America either. But yeah, he's he's been he's been all over. He has like 700 plus food challenge wins. And in the past, 
he actually has teased retirement. Oh, for those of you guys who are wondering, yes, he's even done a few of the challenges that were featured on Man vs. Food, so that's pretty cool. Um, he has teased retirement in the past, and whether or not he does it, one thing's for sure. How appropriate would it be if he actually decides to retire, or at the very least announce his retirement, while doing the Wings of Death? I mean, for all intents and purposes, High Ones is itself a food challenge. A very unique and slightly sadistic kind of food challenge. But, you know, it's still a food challenge. And I think he'd be able to do it. You know, he'd be able to... And I can just imagine Sean Evans asking Randy Santa questions like, you know, what's been your favorite food challenge so far? What's been your least favorite food challenge so far? You know, and here's the thing. Randy Santel also has a, a degree in dietetics from Missouri State, I think. So he actually would know quite a few things about probably the hot sauces that he's eating. It wouldn't make for a very good episode. Okay, I've read a lot more about Randy Santel, but he, he'd be a good one. Um, another one, pretty obvious. You talk about hip-hop, you talk about rap on hot ones. You got to have Snoop Dogg at some point. So... Yeah, I'm trying to cancel. Randy Santel, Snoop Dogg, he'd be a good guest. Um, you know, keep the hip hop going. Eminem. Yeah, Eminem's my all time favorite rapper. He'd be pretty good. And, you know, Hot Ones has had more than one guest at a time on the show. So, you know what? The Jonas Brothers set the record for the most wings on the Hot Ones table. But I think there may be a way. To facilitate breaking that record. And hear me out. Get all four of the uh, guests on the kitchen at Food Network. Um, you know, Sonny. Both Jeffs. You know, get all, get all, you know, get, that's four. Sorry, I forget the uh, brunette. I'm very sorry. I isn't playing, but yeah. Get all four guests, like, on the kitchen. And, like, have that be an episode. That'd be pretty good. Like, it would break a Hot Ones record in terms of, like, how many wings are being eaten. It'd be, it'd be awesome. So, yeah. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of uh, other um, guests you can have. Mm, well, you can't really, oh, you know, in a way, eating hot wings, especially hot wings of different sauces, can be rather bizarre. So why not get Andrew Zimmern? Andrew Zimmern would be a great option for for being on Hot Ones. You know, he would definitely, as someone who's also been all over the world and would generally, gen generally give, uh, you know, insight to um, what uh, would be on, what, what you know, uh, what few First We Feast could, you know, talk about. You know, that'd be great. That'd be awesome. Oh, uh, let's see. That's technically five ideas for episodes. Let me do another five more. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, at some point, you probably are going to need to get the likes of, you know, Mark Wahlberg. Or, you know, he'd be good. Um, you know, Mark Wahlberg would be a good uh, episode to do. Um, hmm. You know, this would be a very interesting stretch. But why not get somebody like um, like like SNL alums like like Keenan Thompson? He'd be a good episode. Keenan Thompson would be a good episode. Um, that's seven episodes. Uh, hmm. Here's another really good one, and actually this would be like two episodes. But um, Brad Jones, the cinema snob, I mean. He has, I mean, I mean, part of the content that Brad Jones uses is uh, Brad Tries, so have the episode be Brad Tries Taking on the Wings of Death. That'd be a great episode to do. And you know what? As long as you're doing Channel Awesome related stuff, Doug and Rob Walker. So, yeah, the Walker brothers. You know, they'd be, they'd be pretty good. And because, you know, Sean Evans is a native of Chicago... And the and that's essentially where uh well really the well the Walker brothers are from Chicago, um, 
Brad Jones is a little ways outside of that. But yeah, it'd be a great Chicago related episode. And hmm. You know what would also be a really good one? Get Kelly Clarkson. So yeah. Yeah, Kelly Clarkson would be a great episode as well. She she she'd be a good one. So yeah, so I just gave you guys like ten ideas for you know hot ones episodes. And and at least in terms of you know guests who would be on there. Um yeah, so take that what you will. You know, that'd be that'd be awesome, it'd be good. And yeah, that uh that's all I have to say about that. And okay, I'm not gonna be on the bush anymore. Now, because I don't really have internet or here's I have internet just like just from my phone, so if I don't watch like any videos or anything, it has to be from my phone. But yesterday, thankfully, One Piece manga chapter fifty five came out and ladies and gentlemen while well, I'm not giving away spoilers, we are at the end of Act 2 of Wano. As of Chapter 956, the final battle will begin for Wano. And I am so excited! You know, although, as I'm reading the chapter, you know, and this is what the odds are. You know, in the bad guy's corner... You have essentially 30,000, you know, 30,000 bad guys. And on the good guy side, you have 4,200. Yeah, they say this in the manga chapter, but this will not be a head-on-head battle. There's going to need to be some, you know, stratagems involved. If you want to, if you want to, you know, win, if you want to win this. Which, I'm personally interested in seeing what happens. I think it's going to be really awesome. I mean, again, we have a whole week, and there's no break next week. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. That's why there was a break last week, so there wouldn't be a break for next week, so we can get to the, the, the battle. Oh, I see what you're doing there, Oda. And I was thinking, I mean, I can't really do it now because I didn't just read it. However... You know, I would like to, one more new thing of content I would like to do is not watching Wano, but reading Wano. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to do a recap and reaction video of um, the latest manga chapter that I just read. And considering that Act 3 of Wano, which may very well be the climax of Wano, you know, starts next week. Next week, I'm going to hit, I'm going to, you know, hit it up with it. It's going to be it's going to be awesome. Although it won't be in the same format as, you know, the watching Wano videos I do. Which, I'll be honest, I'm going to be start getting far behind unless I get, like, internet again. So, until further notice, I'm going to have to postpone doing watching Wano. Just for a little bit. Until I can actually get internet settled up in here and everything else taken care of. It shouldn't be that long, but I thought I should probably... You know, let you guys know for the future. And, yeah, that uh, that's really about it. You know, hopefully, well, not hopefully, I will see you guys tomorrow morning with, um, you know, stuff. Tonight I'm going to be heading up to Kiko Lake. Oh, huh. And, uh, you know, she get a good weekend all around and, Pretty soon we'll be doing more uh, NFL Sunday picks. That's going to be awesome. And, you know, see you guys through um, you know, all that stuff. It's going to be awesome. So, yeah, now that I'm in a new area, I need to prepare a few things, more like pack up my stuff. Because as soon as I'm done doing my stuff for the day, I'm just going to head to Rita's and immediately go up to the lake. So... I have to do like 500 look arounds of my apartment just to make sure I get everything to go. That's going to be fun. But for the most part, I do. I definitely have some stuff taken care of. So that's always nice. Like, favorite, share, hit that subscribe button. Follow me on the social media platforms. Turn on those notifications on YouTube. I am very humbled I made this video for all of you guys to watch and enjoy for today. I am hopefully all of a wonderful, wonderful, 
wonderful Friday, which kicks off a wonderful weekend. And remember, if any of you guys ever want to talk or chat, I'm always going to be here. It's London here. I'll always have your back. Take care and make good choices. See ya.